Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a custom fulfillment service inside of Shopify. So let's jump into it. Setting up fulfillment so that it happens automatically when someone purchases your product is super easy to do inside Shopify. It's a question I get asked quite often when talking to new merchants, is how do I set it up so that when someone orders a product, it automatically notifies my distributor to send that product out. So I'm going to go through how to set that up inside Shopify so that you can very easily notify them when someone purchases. So if we're on the dashboard here and we go down to the very bottom and we go to settings. If we're on the settings page, we need to set up shipping. Now shipping is what we're going to be uh, basically talking about. So it makes sense that it's under the shipping navigation. So if we go to shipping, there's a bunch of options in here and I do a full video on how shipping works, all the individual pieces in it. But for this video, we're going to jump straight to fulfillment. So if we go right down to the bottom, we can see we have additional shipping methods. This additional fifth shipping methods has custom order fulfillment. So to add a custom fulfillment, you can add fulfillment service. So we're going to put in John Smith as our fulfillment person, and we're going to put in his email. I'm going to put in my email um, so that we can see what happens when a thing is purchased. I'm going to save that. And now I've got a custom fulfillment service set up. I can add as many fulfillment services as I want. Now the question I get next is how do I assign that to a product? Well, in Shopify, fulfillment is based on the variant level. So if you have a look at a product the way it's set up, first is the product, then is the variant, and the shipping is set up on the variant side of things. Now you can um, have up to 99 variants on a product inside Shopify. There is a way around the 99 variant limit, uh, but I'll cover that in a separate video. So let's hope to hop over to products and let's pull up our bag organizer. Okay, so on our bag organizer, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see we now have this fulfillment service in here set to manual. If we drop it down, we now have John Smith as our new uh, fulfillment service. So now when someone purchases, it will take a fulfillment request and send that off to John Smith. So we can hit save. Great, now let's go and test it. So let's go and create an order. Create an order. I'm gonna send this to me as a customer. We can get that bag organizer. We're going to add it to our order. We're going to mark it as paid. And now that it's been sent as an order, we're going to create the order. And we're going to hit request fulfillment. So now that it's been requested, we can now go over to fulfill items. Once we hit fulfill tracking, then we can go and check our email for the order fulfillment. So if we have a look at our email here, we can see we've reached one, we've received one order fulfillment request for our demo store. And under it, it has a breakdown of the items that need to be fulfilled. So we have items to be filled, the shipping address, the shipping message, the tracking number if one was supplied when we clicked on fulfill, and the customer's email. So now your fulfillment service has everything we need to know in order to fulfill the bag for you. If the fulfillment service that you're using has a uh, tracking number that they'll supply you once they've shipped it out. That's when you can go and add the tracking number in here and it will notify the customer uh, that it's on the way. Now there are other options for fulfillment. Um, some fulfillment services, if you're using a service that's warehousing all your products, have their own app uh, that is specifically designed for Shopify that will allow you to communicate back and forth. If you have a fulfillment service that is open to developing an integration for Shopify, this is something that we can help you with. Um, but for the most part, for basic fulfillment can be done through email. Thanks for coming by. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if that's something that you're into, and we will see you in the next one.